Hey, what's up, Data Geeks? Thanks for joining me today. I'm here to show you another awesome way to use Google Sheets with Tableau. And in Tableau 10, this is probably my most favorite feature, and there's so many things about it that you probably don't know you can do. So today, I wanna show you how to actually analyze in relatively real time customer service feedback data. So a survey that we get back from our customers, some results from that survey. And we're gonna do it all using Google Sheets and Google Apps, and then we're gonna visualize the data in Tableau and then update it on the web in real time or as often as we would like for it to be real time. So I'm gonna show you over on my screen here exactly how to do this. So I'll switch over. And to start, I want to open up Google Drive. And on Google Drive, what I have is just a new folder I created for my survey data. So step one is to create a new Google Form. And if I click New and then More, I have Google Forms. So in Google Forms, this is a way to have a web-based form where users can submit information. So here, we're going to call it Customer Net Promoter. And we're just gonna ask one question in this form, basically one question. Would you recommend bensullins.com to someone else? And if the answer is a scale from one to 10, then we're kind of following the, the format there with the NPS, which is this whole cult-like thing that people do in business. So uh, at one, you're gonna say not at all likely, and at 10, very likely. And we'll do required. Then I'm gonna add a couple more fields here. And on this one, it's going to be, where are you located? Short answer, it automatically detected that, that's cool. Don't think there's a way here to add a specific uh, map or anything like that. So where are you located? And then I can say, let's say this one's required as well. And then lastly, what industry are you in? And when I check this, let's do another short answer. So I could even do a drop down here just so you know how to do that. So option one, let's say tech to manufacturing, three, maybe education, four, retail, five, banking, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll leave that as is for now, and you can fill that out as much or as little as you'd like. We'll make this one required for now as well. Then we'll go in and choose responses and click on this little icon here, which says create spreadsheet. And what this is gonna do is create a Google Sheet for me with a name here, untitled form. How about we give this customer NPS responses. I can also select an existing sheet, but for the case here, I'm just gonna say create. So it went ahead, created the sheet, and it has my responses. This is where it'll actually capture those responses. Now that that's in a Google Sheet, I can pull that data in directly in Tableau with a live connection and then visualize that. So I'm just gonna populate this here with some quick sample data, and I'll be right back and show you how to do it in Tableau. Okay, so I've generated here just some random data. I actually used legit timestamps that I got from another data set, and then just kind of generated all the different fields and stuff that I wanted to have that would be realistic from my survey, from my form. Then I'm gonna go over to Tableau now, and I'm going to say connect to Google Sheets, I'll log in, which I've already done, click allow. Then I'm gonna go find my survey there, click connect. I'm going to pull in form responses one. You can see I have some data there. Go over to sheet one. Now we can take a look. So let's say, let's rename this field as NPS and we'll rename this field as industry and we'll rename this field as location. So this one happens to be that it all works out. So it's a perfect city and state combo. Obviously, if you were doing this in real life, you'd probably have separate fields that would have city and state and possibly validated lists. That way you didn't get any kind of mucky data here that you had just nice clean data. 
So I'll remove that for now, and I'm actually going to split that because I know that with this, I have two fields. I have the city and the state. So there's my city. So I'm gonna rename split one as city. Then I'm gonna rename split two as state. Set the geographic properties of these guys here. So that way Tableau knows how to create a map because we're gonna create a map. City and state, clear my sheet. Now I could even have a hierarchy here. In fact, let's do it this way, city then state. Perfect. Rename this, customer location. Good to go. So we have a decent data set here. I mean, it's not fully robust, doesn't have a ton of detail, but it's actually really, really important. And you'd be surprised how many strategic level decisions get made on basically data as small as finite as this. So first, let's just do a histogram. So if I click on NPS, I can click a histogram. I can see kind of where our people are, where the responses are. First off, how many rows do we have? Let's just go take a look at that here. Double click number of records. We've got 185 responses, pretty good. And you can see kind of where they're at. Now in NPS, and not to get too deep down the logic behind that, there's this idea of a detractor uh, or an attractor, I believe is what it's called. So it's basically somebody that is for your company or somebody that's gonna maybe hurt your company. So um, I'm gonna create a little calculation here, call it, I don't know, NPS color, make it a little easier to read there. And so it's just basic here. So I was gonna say if NPS greater than six, then like, else not like, or maybe I'll say dislike. So this is just kind of my simplified version of this. Again, there's a whole cult and religion around this here. But there you can go, if I color by that, you can kind of see where actually how many people fit into that. And I could then of course do a separate chart on that. So we'll do a little histogram there. And this time I'll actually just do NPS color and number of records. And you can kind of see here, we're not doing too hot. If you were to divide these two, you'd get your percentage. And this is the NPS percent that a lot of companies talk about. They strive to have, I don't know, 80, 90% or whatever. Uh, in reality, it's actually incredibly difficult to move the needle on this. But the idea is that if somebody would recommend your company to someone else, you must be doing something right. So this is just a high level company metric. My point here is, I have a web form now that my customers can fill out and when they fill it out, I'm gonna have real data flowing into my website. So we'll just call this NPS percent. Let's do a trend here, just a simple chart. Let's take our timestamp up to columns. Now let's maybe go down how many months. Okay, we've got a few months. Maybe we'll take it down to a week. We've got a number of weeks there. And let's go ahead and do NPS and that's the sum, I wanna do the average. So this will actually kind of tell us, all right, so what, what are we averaging here? Like this was a bad week, these other weeks are okay. You know, I could do some trending around this, I could do some forecasting, all that kind of stuff, but I'll just rename this as NPS trend. Again, my point here in this video is not to show you how to make an awesome chart for this, but to show the functionality that Google Sheets gives you with Tableau. Okay, cool, so I have some basic charts here, I'm just gonna, throw them on my dashboard like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this a fixed size that's actually quite small just so you can see it. 650 by, let's do 650. We'll delete that one. And then you can kind of see there. So here is just a very basic dashboard, we'll call it, call it NPS overview. And we can see what's going on. Now that I have this, I also forgot that I wanna do a map. So let's create a map. So here I'll just double click on city and Tableau automatically finds the map images. It knows where they are based on the latitude and longitude which it's generating and then it puts them on the map. So if I did this and let's say let's color code them by the average NPS, that would kind of tell us, all right, how are things looking? Let's change the colors here. So it is kind of a diverging palette. So let's say orange and blue. And I guess blue in this case might be good, orange might be bad. So you can kind of see where we're doing better and versus other places. Let's add a little border there so I can kind of see. All right, so now they pop out a little bit more to me. Cool, so I can say location, NPS. 
And the last one we'll do is just the industry or NPS by industry. Double click my industry, double click or actually just drag my NPS up and I'll do an average again. And then of course I'll drag this down to color so you can kind of see that same effect. And we'll do orange blue diverging. Yeah, it looks okay. There you go, so we're not doing good in banking. <laughs> you can see that there. I could also do other things if I wanted to drag, say, the state on. You could kind of see how it goes by state and all that. But for now, we'll just keep it pretty simple. Let's go update our overview tab here. And we'll go ahead and drag our map up to the top. And then the industry guy down next to our histogram. Get rid of this guy. Okay. So I have four charts here that are all telling part of the story. Uh, there's probably a narrative in here, and if you wanted to, of course, you would dig in and really try to understand what's going on, show more detailed analysis, all that jazz. For now, um, all I want to do is save this to Tableau Server and have it update for me. So first, I'm going to save this locally, and I'm going to do it here. Call it Customer NPS. And then I'm going to publish it to Tableau Server. So here, I'm going to go to Server, Publish Workbook. I need to create an extract because I'm using a Google Sheets data source. Thank you for telling me that, Tableau. Two clicks, and I'm good. Now I'm going to go to publish the workbook again. And this time I'm actually going to do Tableau Online because I have a server set up for this. And I'll log in here. Okay, so when I'm going to publish this here, I'm just gonna leave everything as is for now. Not really interested in all that, but one interesting thing is that it's saying for this workbook to be scheduled for a refresh on the server, you must embed credentials for all data sources. And I wanted to show you this on purpose because it's key that you do this, otherwise it's not going to be able to update that. And Tableau 10 is nice in that it automatically recognizes that. It says, hey, would you like to embed credentials for all data sources now? Yes, I would Tableau, thank you very much. Go ahead and log in with your credentials again. Hopefully you have the two-factor authentication turned on. If you don't, shame on you. But I'll forgive you. Click Allow, and it's going to publish it up to the server. If I switch back over to my server now and refresh my page, you'll see that I have my customer NPS. So here's my dashboard, here's everything that's going on. Now, we talked about real time, and this uses an extract. And that's one of the challenging things so far, is that you don't have the way to do a true live connection here, but we can refresh the extract pretty often. I believe the default setting, the shortest time window you can do on Tableau server is 15 minutes. So if we wanted to do that, I can go over to my data sources, and if I click on this guy here and then choose Actions, Edit Connection, I'm going to have to add a Google Sheets account to my server. I'm gonna go ahead and log in with that account as I've already done on when I published. Now go ahead and click Save. Okay, now I have the ability to actually create the refresh schedule. So if I go to Refresh Schedules, I can say New Extract Refresh. I don't know, whenever you feel like. You can do all these different times, you can do all the different days and all that kind of stuff, or you can say every hour. This is kind of how it's set up on your server. There's also a way using APIs to have this data refresh on a call that you make. So I'll just say every hour here. So I created that. Now what's gonna happen is every hour, Tableau server is going to reach out to my Google Sheet, see if there's any new data and update that in my extract and then provide it back to my actual viz. Now let me show you what this looks like in the Tableau desktop version because that would simulate essentially the same thing that's gonna happen online. So first in my form, I'm gonna to have to click send. I'll go ahead and copy this link and I'll just paste it over here. It's gonna ask me this, but first let me pull up my Tableau view here. So I have my view and right now I'm gonna to go to the map. 
Because what I want to do is I want to add a new location just to see it pop up here. So if I fill this out, I'll say very likely, where are you located? Uh, let's choose Boston, MA, Boston, Massachusetts. We're in the tech industry. Go ahead and click Submit. Back over to Tableau. I need to refresh the extract itself. And once it does that, we can go check it out and there's our Boston MA entry. Okay, so just to recap, step one, create a Google form. Have that form submit to a Google Sheet. Then connect, step two, connect Tableau to the Google Sheet, build your viz. Step three, publish that to Tableau's server, set up the credentials, schedule the refresh. Now again, it's gonna be every hour in this case, but like I mentioned, you can set up jobs to call it much more frequent and you can even build your own API to call it and do it even faster. So don't wanna to go too deep into that right now, but I wanna show you just here with a few clicks in, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so, we've been able to essentially build a complete application one that is web-based that we can send to people, they can submit data to, then that will automatically flow onto a dashboard. That whole circle there is something that previously to Tableau 10 was quite difficult to set up. And not exactly, I guess difficult's not the fair word, more just there were a lot of components that you had to do and a lot more time it took. Depending on difficulty is subjective. So don't wanna make it sound like it was bad or anything, just that there was a lot to it. Now, all from Tableau Desktop, all with just clicking a few menu options, I'm able to deliver to my business a fairly complete solution to analyze customer feedback. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you back here next time. Hey, thanks for checking out my video. I really, really appreciate it. Now, I also have a blog, bensullins.com, in case you haven't visited that. On there, I have videos like this. I have code samples. I have full articles describing all the tips and tricks and everything that I want to share with you to help you in your career, as well as you can sign up for my weekly newsletter, which is basically a digest of all that, plus more stuff I found on the web that I found interesting that might be pertinent to you. So you can click this link here and go check that out. And again, I appreciate you watching this video and I'll see you back here soon.